Yo my dudes, welcome back to uh, the vlogs So, today we are going to work on the EK And then also I have some good news Then if you guys um, saw the video before this I did the tire decal or the tire lettering on the yellow Civic I was kind of impressed with um, the decal I did make contact with the guy So going forward, we will be working together uh, I would say kind of a uh, partnership type of vibe um, I will be able to now supply uh, you guys with that and then obviously uh, do the fitment um, so that is some good news and then also today we are going to work on uh, the EK the silver EK my cousin's car um, I'll just show you guys what we are going to do to the car um, going forward um, what I also want to mention is that um, I am not going to do much to the car um, He is actually going to do um, majority of the work uh, Because I do actually want to brush up on my cinematic skills or my um, filming um, So what I did come up with is I had the steering wheel uh, laying around And then I also had this thing that I got in Wish uh, I am going to just put my phone in here so it basically serves the same purpose as a gimbal so I'd basically be able to have more grip and be able to move uh, much better I'm also going to kind of modify this I'm gonna spray this black and I don't know if you guys recall uh, in the video where I told you guys that I am going to put um, this little spoon uh, decal on here uh, the reason for me actually not doing it uh, on my steering wheel is because this is an original steering wheel and it is uh, the original hooter so I didn't really want to make it fake if that makes any sense as well as I have noticed that the spoon um, the stripes over here should actually be the other way so I kind of wasn't really happy with that I might just have to import um, the original um, child sticker but yeah so we are going to spray this eventually black and then put this over here and then this will obviously go into here I don't really need to do that but I thought it would just be something cool um, it's kind of my now my new filming device instead of actually having a gimbal you guys should maybe try it out so in this video I am going to show you guys um, or I am going to attempt to do uh, better cinematics so I'm just going to go over the road to my cousin and then just here by him if we are going to work by me or by him uh, so please stay tuned for that guys hey guys so before we get started uh, just a little walk around on the EK a few mods has been done uh, since it's last been on the channel as you guys can see it now has CTR red lights the CTR EDM I think this is a uh, what they call the EDM style and it also has the Mugen front grill like I did mention uh, the EKE is going for um, the whole Mugen theme uh, then going forward what we do have planned today is we are going to spray the lip satin black so it gives it a more um, original look and as well as so that it does match with all the beading as well as the grill, the grill we are also going to spray at the later stage and then also what we are going to do is uh, fit some tire decal or tire lettering as you guys know that we are now partnering up um, with D tire lettering so you will be um, supplying us with um, the tire lettering I did show you guys in the previous video what it looks like we are going with the Netto uh, tire decal and then also uh, just a little short mod small mod uh, instead of the conventional um, stainless steel piping we are now using the PVC pipe that you usually use on plumbing um, as you guys know that heat is um, the enemy of power so PVC does not carry as much heat so that also um, basically eliminates heat going into the engine uh, we are going to clean it up a bit spray this and obviously put the clamps in um, we're obviously going to put the clamps over there um, we're probably going to have to close it a little hole over there as well 
um, that will be in future um, but for today um, we are going to try to do the lip as well as the tire um, lettering So this is the progress, uh, we did sand down uh, the lip and then we just wipe it down with some petrol or gas and even use thinners. Uh, so it kind of has to look like this first and then we're going to spray it. The whole idea with actually spraying it so it gives it a kind of a plastic look. So it kind of looks uh, more original or it gives it a more OEM look in other words. Uh, so we're just going to spray this and then while we do spray this um, and give it its coats uh, we are going to start with the tire lettering. Guys, so this is uh, the front lip as you guys can see gives it a whole plastic look makes it look much more OEM this is only the first coat as you guys know if I do not use primer I usually just give a light coat first coat and then um, we just take it from there so this is the outcome uh, thus far I'm gonna start with the tie lettering I'll wait until this dry it's kind of windy today unfortunately Okay, so um, just something I learned with the neater ones um, kind of has a big gap between here so what I done was when you do cut it I kind of match the two cuts so I know where the gaps are uh, in between however I think the netto is um, most likely probably the, dip, the more, most difficult one because of the gap that it has over here um, but this is the recommended way on how I would do it guys so this is what it looks like right now um, we are going to rock the yellow uh, in the meanwhile just to see what it looks like and we'll probably remove it in the future so this is the driver side and then I also just wanted to explain another thing um, we would do the rear but the rear is actually um, to you for uh, new tires so when we do get the new tires we will probably put on the other decal um, so this is only going to be temporary um, We are actually happy with the outcome 
another thing that we might just do in future is maybe just bring it a little bit down huh? I would recommend you guys also doing it one by one because of the whole curve over here So guys, we came to the end of this video. Hope you like the content that we came up with. I don't know if you guys saw that the tire decal had a cover on, which is yellow. So uh, the guy at D Tire Lettering also does provide different colors. So just maybe mention in the comment if you guys do like uh, the yellow. Should we keep the yellow or make it white? And then also uh, this week's YouTube exposure goes out to Keegan. Uh, he's also the guy um, that drives the red bagged um, Subaru. Um, I'll just put this link in the description. He also just started a YouTube channel, so please uh, check that out, guys. And then also, um, just the end of the video, I'm going to put up a few of the quarantine queen entries. Um, so I'll just basically put up a few pictures here uh, just to expose um, some Instagram cats as well I hope you guys do like the content that we have put out today please do like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace